Hey YouTube guys, welcome to this tutorial. My name is Yuji Shreer from Polygon Motion and in this cool tutorial, I'm gonna show you how to create long shadows inside of After Effects. Okay, let's take a look what we're gonna create in this tutorial. You see a very nice long shadow for this uh, circle and also uh, for this text. The way that I'm going to show you is uh, just built-in tools of After Effects. We don't use any third-party plugins. And once you create this uh, long shadow in After Effects with these effects, you can save as a preset and then you can apply on any objects, on any layers inside of After Effects. And it's completely uh, fed out with that layers and all the things are set up even if you... Uh, animate uh, the shapes and it's working for all sorts of layers. So uh, Let's get started. Uh, I have a new composition here and what I'm going to do is uh, c Copy this uh, solid and paste it in here as a background So the first thing that I want to create is our text for text. I'm just using long and uh, Put it in the center so and uh, okay the method that i'm going to uh, use in this uh, tutorial is by mixing some effects the, f the first effect that we need is the cc radial blur and cc radial bl blur not fast blur and uh, it is it's an effect that helps you to create uh, shadows and blur and radial blur and these other stuff so keep in mind that before adding a uh, radial blur to your layer directly you have to pre-comb your layer and then after that you have to apply these effects so uh, Control shift c for pre-comb and put text name so now i'm just uh, adding and dropping this radial blur to the text and once i drag i can easily change the amount like this and also change the type of it to a straight zoom like this and um, it's not long shadow it's actually it's a, a blur okay uh, don't worry we'll fix that just put this in this area and quality maybe a little bit and <clears throat> okay the next effect that i want to uh put is the fill and put fill in here and make it black and the next effect is level not level itself but level individual controller drag it in here and uh, choose alpha and in alpha i'm just uh drag this way more in here sorry and just drag this until you get a completely long shadow and filling shape like this so that is cool and if you get a little bit transparency and opacity and also select this radial blur and make it way more far than the object so now we have this and maybe just control this a little bit and quality very nice if I put this in full mode it takes a little bit of time because it's a little bit AV effect Keep in mind and and maybe down this to 15 back and now we have a, a very uh, basic long shadow and uh, the last thing that I want to do is adding an effect to composite the actual effects with this shadow. So in here I'm I'm using CZ Composite and what CC Composite does is uh, just uh, when I add this it's uh, uh, composite two uh, different layers with each other with the effects that we, you have applied and in here I'm just using behind and maybe copy or in front is okay and RGB only unchecked now you have a very nice long shadow you can uh, change the size of it or maybe you can animate it like this and also for fittingness uh, we can use a linear wipe or maybe you just type wipe linear wipe and put it in this before this is a composite and like this very nice and fitness app and for 
opacity we can use this slider you see that it's very nice so once you create this okay once you create these effects it is now completely procedural what i mean is that when you when i go to pre comp and for example i mm, uh, just create an uh, animation maybe for opacity <clears throat> and uh, just zero this and maybe a little bit uh, animation for star like this and easy ease very nice now you see that it's completely animated already and all the things are set up that uh, it's non-destructive and procedural and very nice so once you create that and now uh, if I select all of them and go to animation and save animation preset for example maybe long shadow preset long shadows one in desktop and save and click OK now if I create another shape, if I go in here and just delete these keyframes, if I create, for example, a rectangle shape, uh, sorry, a ellipse shape in here, okay, now if uh, I have to pre comp this, pre comp, and go to animation, recent animation presets, and long shadows one, now you see that the uh, effect is created with just one click and you can use it for almost anything so just duplicate this and delete these effects and put it in alpha mode for fix itself uh, sorry I have to put this in alpha mat now you have a very nice uh, nice looking long shadows inside of After Effects. Okay guys, hope you enjoy from this tutorial and don't forget to check out polygonmotions.com for new tutorials and new classes uh, about motion graphic and graphic design and my name is Yuji Shade from Polygon Motion. We'll see you next time.